Hey everyone, and welcome back to another thrilling episode of, well, let's just call it business blunders and billion dollar bets. This is the show where we dissect the most intriguing and sometimes baffling decisions in the business world. Whether you're a seasoned investor, a curious entrepreneur, or just someone who loves a good story, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving headfirst into the fascinating world of retail giants, strategic partnerships, and the high-stakes game of global commerce. Retail is a sector that touches all our lives, from the groceries we buy to the gadgets we can't live without. It's a world where fortunes are made and lost, often in the blink of an eye, and the landscape of global commerce is ever-evolving. With new technologies shifting consumer behaviors and geopolitical tensions, the rules of the game are constantly being rewritten. It's a thrilling, sometimes chaotic arena where only the most adaptable survive and thrive. Buckle up. Because things are about to get interesting, we're about to take you on a roller coaster ride through one of the most surprising moves in retail history. So hold on tight and get ready for some eye opening insights. Our main event tonight, Walmart, the undisputed king of big box stores, has decided to part ways with its $3.74 billion stake in JD.com, the Chinese e commerce behemoth. This is a move that has sent shockwaves through the business community. Walmart and JD.com had been partners for years, working together to tap into the lucrative Chinese market. Now, some folks might be scratching their heads, wondering why on earth Walmart would walk away from such a massive investment. After all, JD.com is one of the biggest players in the Chinese e-commerce space, and their partnership seemed like a match made in retail heaven. So why would Walmart make such a drastic decision? Well, that's exactly what we're here to unravel. We'll be breaking down the possible reasons behind this surprising move from shifting market dynamics to strategic realignments. We'll also hear from industry experts who will weigh in on what this could mean for the future of both companies. So stay tuned because you won't want to miss a single detail of this unfolding drama. Welcome to Revo. Now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Who maybe don't know anything about this company, what does JD.com offer? Well, they're pretty much the Amazon of China. So you can buy anything from you know, houseware to computers, uh, technology, video games, apparel. What separates them from other sites like a Alibaba or a Pinduoduo or a Timu is that, you know, these Chinese online sites, Chinese products in general that have this reputation of being knockoffs, uh, of being cheap quality, bait and switch, stuff like that. These are often the complaints people have with with a site like a team um jd.com actively tries to change that with their authenticity guarantee so basically anything you buy there uh they're backing 100 percent that it is not a counterfeit uh any any merchants that do end up putting anything that's fake or counterfeit on the site gets banned they get banned immediately and fined so they keep a very tight lid as far as the quality is concerned let's rewind the clock a bit shall we Imagine it's the year 2016. The world of e-commerce is booming and every major player is looking for ways to expand their reach and influence. Back in 2016, Walmart made a bold move by acquiring a 5% stake in JD.com. This wasn't just a casual investment, it was a calculated risk, a $3.74 billion gamble that could redefine Walmart's future in the global market. This wasn't just some chump change investment, it was a strategic maneuver to tap into the rapidly growing Chinese e-commerce market. Walmart saw the potential in China, a market that was not only vast but also evolving at a breakneck speed. You see, China's online shopping scene is like a runaway train, and Walmart wanted a piece of the action. The Chinese consumer was becoming increasingly digital savvy, and the demand for online shopping was skyrocketing. This partnership wasn't just about selling cheap socks and discount. Groceries, though. It was about leveraging JD.com's technological prowess and logistical expertise. Walmart aimed to integrate its own retail experience with JD.com's advanced e-commerce platform. It was about data, logistics, and reaching millions of new customers. 
By partnering with JD.com, Walmart could gain invaluable insights into Chinese consumer behavior, optimize its supply chain, and enhance its delivery capabilities. JD.com, with its extensive delivery network and deep understanding of the Chinese consumer, was the perfect partner in crime for Walmart's ambitious expansion plans. Together, they could create a seamless shopping experience that combined the best of both worlds. Walmart's vast product range and JD.com's sufficient delivery system, the collaboration also meant that Walmart could offer a wider variety of products to Chinese consumers, from fresh groceries to electronics, all delivered swiftly and reliably. This was a game-changer, especially in a market where speed and convenience are paramount. Moreover, the partnership allowed Walmart to tap into JD.com's robust online platform reaching customers not just in major cities but also in remote areas. This digital reach was crucial in a country as vast and diverse as China. Financially, the investment was a significant one, but the potential returns were even more substantial. Walmart was betting on the future of e-commerce in China, and the stakes were high. The partnership also opened doors for collaborative marketing campaigns, joint ventures, and a shared vision of growth. It was a symbiotic relationship where both companies stood to gain immensely. In essence, Walmart's $3.74 billion gamble was more than just an investment. It was a strategic alliance aimed at conquering the Chinese e-commerce frontier. The move underscored Walmart's commitment to innovation and its willingness to take bold steps to secure its place in the global market. As the years have passed, this partnership has continued to evolve, adapting to new market trends and consumer demands. It's a testament to the power of strategic collaboration and the endless possibilities that arise when two industry giants join forces. Fast forward to today and... The landscape has shifted. The Chinese market, while still massive, has become increasingly competitive. Local players like Alibaba and Pinduoduo have emerged as formidable rivals, putting pressure on everyone, even giants like Walmart and JD.com. So why did Walmart decide to sell its stake? Well, the official line is that they're focusing on their own e-commerce operations in China. They've been pouring resources into their own platform and it seems like they're ready to go it alone. But is there more to the story? Let's simplify things with a little analogy. Imagine you're having a garage sale and you've got this one item, a beautiful antique lamp that everyone's eyeing. You know it's valuable, but you're not sure how much it's really worth. Along comes a collector who offers you a decent chunk of money for it. You hesitate, wondering if you could get more, but ultimately decide to sell. Now replace the lamp with JD.com and the collector with Walmart. Did Walmart sell their stake too soon, potentially missing out on even greater profits down the line? It's like selling that golden goose before it lays its golden eggs. Section 5. The Metaphorical Mess Unpacking Walmarts Logic Walmart's decision is like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube while riding a unicycle on a tightrope. It's a complex balancing act that requires precision, strategy, and a bit of daring. Imagine trying to keep your balance while also figuring out the intricate puzzle in your hands. That's the kind of challenge Walmart is facing right now. There are so many moving parts it's hard to keep track. Each piece of the puzzle represents a different aspect of their business strategy, from supply chain logistics to market competition and consumer behavior. It's a juggling act where dropping even one piece could have significant repercussions. On the one hand, they're betting big on their own e-commerce platform in China. This move signifies their commitment to capturing the rapidly growing online shopping market in one of the world's most populous countries. The potential for growth is enormous, with millions of consumers increasingly turning to online platforms for their shopping needs. On the other hand, they're walking away from a partnership that gave them a foothold in a massive market. This partnership was a strategic alliance that provided Walmart with valuable insights and access to local consumer bases. By stepping away, they risk losing the advantages that come with local expertise and established market presence. Some analysts believe that Walmart is making a mistake by retreating. They argue that the competitive landscape in China, while challenging, offers unparalleled opportunities for growth and expansion. The market's sheer size and the increasing purchasing power of Chinese consumers make it a battleground worth fighting for. They argue that the Chinese market is too valuable to abandon even if competition is fierce. The potential rewards of establishing a strong presence in China could outweigh the risks and challenges. 
It's a high-stakes game where the winners could reap substantial benefits. Others think that Walmart is simply cutting its losses and focusing on areas where it has a stronger position. They believe that by reallocating resources to markets where Walmart already has a competitive edge, the company can achieve more sustainable growth. This strategy involves a careful assessment of where their strengths lie and how best to leverage them for maximum impact. The decision to pull back from a partnership in China reflects a broader trend in Walmart's global strategy. The company is increasingly focusing on markets where it can dominate and deliver consistent value to its customers. This approach requires a deep understanding of local market dynamics and the ability to adapt quickly to changing conditions. In the US, for example, Walmart continues to be a retail giant leveraging its extensive network of stores and robust supply chain to meet consumer demands. By concentrating efforts on its home turf, Walmart aims to solidify its market leadership and drive growth through innovation and efficiency. Additionally, Walmart is investing heavily in its online shopping platform, aiming to compete with e-commerce giants like Amazon. This investment includes enhancing user experience, expanding product offerings, and improving delivery logistics to ensure customer satisfaction. Ultimately, Walmart's strategy is about finding the right balance between global expansion and local dominance. It's a delicate dance that requires constant valuation and adjustment. By making calculated decisions and staying agile, Walmart hopes to navigate the complexities of the global retail landscape successfully. As analysts continue to debate the merits of Walmart's decisions, one thing is clear. The company's approach to global markets will be closely watched. Whether their strategy proves to be a masterstroke or a misstep, it will undoubtedly provide valuable lessons for businesses navigating the ever-changing world of international commerce. Section 6, but wait, there's more. JD.com's not going anywhere. Here's the thing. Even without Walmart's investment, JD.com is still a major player in the Chinese e-commerce game. They've got a solid track record, a loyal customer base, and a vast delivery network. They're not going to disappear overnight just because Walmart decided to cash out. In fact, some experts believe that JD.com might even benefit from Walmart's departure. It frees them up to pursue other partnerships and strategies without having to answer to a major shareholder. It's like that old saying, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happens, section 7 questions. Questions you're burning, queries answered. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is all very interesting, Rivo, now, but what does it mean for me, the average consumer? Well, in the short term, probably not much. You'll still be able to buy your discounted socks and groceries from Walmart, and you'll still be able to order everything under the sun from JD.com. The real question is, how will this shakeup affect the future of e-commerce? Will Walmart's solo mission in China succeed? Will JD.com thrive without its American partner? Only time will tell. Section 8, the big what if. Exploring alternative scenarios, let's put on our speculative hats for a moment and explore some alternative scenarios. What if Walmart had doubled down on its investment in JD.com? What if they had used their combined resources to create an unstoppable e-commerce force in China? On the flip side, what if JD.com had decided to expand aggressively into the US market? Going head-to-head -head with Amazon on its home turf? These are all hypothetical scenarios, of course, but they highlight the high-stakes game of chess that's being played in the world of global commerce. Section 9, so, was it a mistake? The jury's still out. So, was Walmart's decision to sell its stake in JD.com a colossal blunder, a stroke of genius, or something in between? Honestly, it's too early to say for sure. Only time will tell if this gamble pays off for Walmart, or if they'll end up regretting their decision. One thing's for sure, the world of business is rarely predictable. Companies make big bets all the time, and sometimes they win, sometimes they lose. That's the name of the game. Section 10, let's keep talking. Your thoughts and ideas matter. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. But before we go, I want to hear from you. What do you think of Walmart's decision? Was it a smart move or a missed opportunity? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're at it, let me know what other business blunders or billion-dollar bets you'd like us to investigate in future episodes. We're always on the lookout for juicy stories and thought-provoking discussions. Section 11, that's all, folks. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, when it comes to business, sometimes the best laid plans go awry. But hey, that's what makes the world go round, right? Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay skeptical.
Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.